Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Amazing, amazing news today, as we have the official release of the new Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny trailer, and I'm gonna break it down for you right now. So, here we go, let's hit play. So it starts out here with uh, Indy in his, what I assume is his house or his apartment in New York. I wonder where Marion is in this new film, because we don't see her, maybe he had to move away, but I really hope they're not divorced. Yeah, but we see he's falling asleep here, and it plays it for a joke in the movie that he's like waking up to the song in this, but I think it might actually be him like maybe waking up from like a nightmare, but anyway, Andy's falling asleep with the glass that he drinks from in Raiders in his hand. And so then we cut to him riding to work on the day of this big Apollo parade, looking just like a regular old guy on the subway in his suit. And he goes into work, and there's a big surprise party for him and because it appears that he has retired. And his goddaughter, Helena Shaw, is there. So he seems pretty melancholy about that. And he's at the bar telling Helena he's retired, and she buys him a drink. And they talk about the dial that Helena's father, Basil, found with Indy during the war on a train. Now we get an awesome DH scene that we saw in the trailer. A little expanded of young Indy punching Voller in the face. It's really cool. And that he get, grabs the dial that could change history, according to Helena. And Indy says that it drove her father crazy. Kind of weird. But then we see him in the archives with Helena as it gets broken into by Clabber and Hawk, these henchmen for the Nazi villain of the film, Waller. And they track Indy down, but Indy has to escape, so it kicks over the shelves. And the agent, Agent Mason, played by Shanette Renee Wilson, is also there for some reason. Kind of weird, but as you can see, it appears that Helena double-crosses him, being kind of a trickster, and she runs away. And then we see... Voller looking through this old military file of Indy, which lists him as extremely highly intelligent on his characteristics, and I believe that the file that he pulls away before this is Helena's, uh, because it says Helena Shaw at the bottom, and that's a picture of her there. Uh, then we get the shot of him de-aged with the bag off his head. Voller sends them to go get Indy, and he has to ride off on the horse through the parade, which then takes him all the way down to the subway, where he is seen outrunning a train on a horse. Really epic action scene here with Harrison Ford. Uh, then we get on June 30th, and Voller opens the box and finds the dial, which in this scene appears to be moving, I think, as they move through time. So this this looks crazy. This is like time travel just confirmed in this trailer. You see older Voller holding up a gun, and then he says, You stole it. We get a funny gag where Indy says, You stole it, and then Helena says, I, Helena says, I stole it. And we see Indy jumping on the boat. And then Helena smashes the window of a car, and then we see Indy whipping his whip through the bar as the classic theme kicks in. We see a glimpse of the Tuk Tuk chase, and then we see the planes going through a dimensional portal, I believe, that train shot, and then a de-aged Indy looking out of the train, which looks very cool, and then we also have Voller here in some sort of plane, I think, in his Nazi commander uniform. And then we have Indy and Helena climbing up to this ancient temple, going through the booby traps as they fall in the water. This looks really cool. Then we get an underwater dive as Indy punches a guy in the face. And we see Ronaldo, which is Indy's sailor friend, played by Antonio Banderas. And then we see Sala saying, give him hell, Indiana Jones. Really cool to see him back. Then we get the plane flying through the air as Indy and Helena jump out over what is no doubt the... Roman sky with Roman boats and ancient city, I believe, of Sarah Cruz. And this just confirms time travel, so that's really cool. Indy says he's been tortured with a voodoo, of course, a reference to Temple of Doom, and that he's been shot nine times, so that's a lot. Which then he says afterwards it was but also by Helena's father, as you can see, he was very delusional, I guess, a bit. And we see awesome D.H. Harrison Ford saying, Ow, oh, sounds great, looks great. And we see them going through the temple, an exploding tower, finally Indy looking at something huge, a DH shot of him, and then 
him in the temple saying he's been looking for this all his life, which he really kind of has. And then, of course, the beautiful title card. So yeah, guys, that was the Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny official new trailer. What did you guys think? I really think this looks amazing. I cannot wait for this movie. But as always, like and subscribe. and I